Hey guys, good morning. So it is Wednesday and I uh, did yesterday a video asking you for questions and so I'm going to answer some of those today. I'm going to start from the bottom, so the original, the you know, in the order that they came and I don't think I'll get to all of them in this video, but I will do my best to answer all of them in the upcoming videos. So first one uh, is from Sarah. If you could spend the day with anyone you wanted, passed away or still alive, who would it be? Also, if you could live anywhere you wanted, where would it be? Um, so spending the day with someone would be Oprah. I've been an Oprah fan for a long time. Um, I liked her when she was a talk show host, but more specifically when she became almost a motivational type um, talk show host and, and really wanting to teach people how to live better lives. That's where I really connect with her. So, um, And then living somewhere, I, I'm really drawn to the East Coast, so somewhere on the East Coast would I think would be really fun. Uh, Leah, Fit and Fat by 40, asked, if your house was burning down, God forbid, what things would you make a huge effort to take with you? Oh, I hate thinking about that. Um, you know, over the years, it's like, it's so hard to find clothes. So my thought was like, throw all my underwear and clothes out the window. Uh, you know, I think pictures and um, maybe electronics and mementos. I mean, I don't know that I have like a special box necessarily. Um, I just really hope that doesn't happen. Uh, Journey Girl wrote, I'm not sure what is on or off limits. I'm wondering what your current weight is. I've been a viewer for a long time and your journey has been amazing to watch. Uh, I haven't been on the scale in a long time. I think last time I was on the scale, I was at like 330, my highest weight being 535. Um, or maybe it was actually lower because so I'd lost 210. So it must have been 320 something. Anyway, um, but I think I've lost a little bit more weight since then. I'm not quite sure. So um, I even just yesterday, um, one of the gals at work that is my friend um, just mentioned, like, I think you're losing a little bit more weight, but I don't know. It doesn't really like I, I care, but it's not my priority to focus on my weight loss necessarily. It's more of a priority to focus on being healthy. So, uh, Kyle McClure wrote, do you think Rob Reno was wrong for kicking Alicia or Alicia off the forum? And if so, do you think he should publicly apologize to her? Uh, I don't really like to get involved in drama. Um, you know, I think both sides maybe could have handled it better. And, you know, ultimately we should all be acting professional. So talking bad about each other on videos, both sides did that. I just, when I see that, I'm just like, mm, turn off. Like, I just, I don't care to be involved in that stuff. I try to keep it classy just myself, personally, and in everything I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that's over. Um, Pearl Girl One said, I would like to know what your career goals are. Also, if someone is feeling stuck in their life circumstances, not in terms of weight, but in a bad job, unfulfilling relationship, etc., what advice would you suggest to move forward? So, um, career goals, you know, it's so hard to know. I go back and forth. I mean, on one hand, I would love to do YouTube full time and just show you guys my life and travel and take you with me. Um, but I don't know that I could, you know, that would be a lot of time alone in front of a camera day to day anyway, not with traveling, but, um, so I'm a social person and I do much better when I'm around people and I know that about myself. So yes, YouTube sounds like a great 
thing to do and I always want to do it more and more and I wish I had more time I don't know if it would fulfill me enough I have thought about going to school to become a therapist I love again talking to people and helping people and I feel like the years that I've been in therapy and how my recovery has changed has been a gift and you know I think it would only be right to try and share it with other people so that's something that's in my mind um, Claire Graves says my question is what workout do you do when you're at the gym so I'm not like a big workout person just yet and I think that will come in time I just like moving my body even just for the increase in mobility and assistance in the mental health factor I feel better emotionally when I'm exercising so I pretty much just do cardio um, I I know I should be lifting weights and I like I said I want to at some point it just hasn't happened yet I try not to force it because again like with diets when I force myself to do something I tend to rebel and say screw it and give up so every day that I walk into the gym every day that I walk outside is a bonus in my eyes so um, but yeah pretty much just the stationary bike or treadmill uh, the Emily says how do you find define sugar for your abstinence so if there's a sugar-free option I take it such as coffee creamer if I want chocolate all it, it has to be sugar-free for me um, I don't eat anything that has visible sugar on it so like I will eat a regular piece of bread but if it's a cinnamon toast bread or a apple strudel bread something that has like sugar like visibly you can see it I won't do that um, you know a, a regular piece of bread if I look at the label it probably does have sugar somewhere on that label but I'm eating one piece out of the whole loaf so that's how I kind of look at that um, and, and I don't buy bread because I'm a single person and just there's no way I would eat a whole loaf so and I know you can freeze it but I have some bread in the freezer that I I just never seem to thought out to eat it and thankfully I don't really crave bread or I mean if I'm at a restaurant maybe I'll have some bread but it's just not something I bring in the house and not because I think bread is bad it's just you know we all have different things we eat at different times so and I go through food phases if I was in a phase where I was wanting a turkey sandwich I would buy a loaf of bread for that so um, other things that define my abstinence, like I don't do donuts because they're glazed in sugar. Um, soda, I don't drink. Um, coffee, I would use Splenda. I, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I go with. Um, I had a glass of wine in the last couple months and, uh, and that was fine. It didn't send me into a binge. I kind of thought it might, but it didn't. And uh, I mean with the wine I don't really want to make a habit of that so I'm I'm hyper aware of that and I'm more with wine concerned with transfer addictions I don't want to start using wine when I'm having a bad day um, so yeah I hope that helps if you guys need me to or want me to go into even more detail um, it's probably about time to do another video as far as what I eat in a day so um, that's been on my radar lately too and I plan to film that soon as well because I do, I do eat different things. I feel like I just did a video on what I eat in a day, but I was looking back and it was actually last year. So time flies. <laughs> and I do eat less now, which is ironic with gastric bypass surgery. I was eating more a year ago than I am now. So I don't know what that's about, but. All right, next one. Uh, Mama left wondering if your life journey plans include marriage and kids. Obviously, if you find Mr. Right, I realize you've made huge changes and have cut many things out of your diet. Is there one thing you could bring back without consequences if it, tur it turned into a zero calorie food, what it, would it be? Um, yes, I do want to get married and have kids, but uh, I'm 34 and I feel like that clock is staring me down. So um, when I was going through all my surgeries and stuff um, and I lost half of my uh, reproductive organs I had to kind of make a decision that if I don't get to have kids that I can't let it ruin my life so um, 
and thankfully, you know, I have my niece and nephews, and if I never have kids of my own, they have been like my kids. So, um, you know, I again, I still want to have some of my own, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, yes, I want to find Mr. Wright. I am getting a late start, so again, I just have to kind of surrender that and, um, you know, leave it to fate. Um, the cutting things out of my diet, you know, I, I truly believe, and this might be part of my work in the OA program, if there is really something I want, I will have it. Um, I don't count calories. I don't, I mean, I just, it's more of intuitive eating and just kind of knowing in general, I have protein at every meal, I drink my water, I, you know, basic healthy living stuff uh, that I think normal eaters do. So... As far as like my favorite food, I just don't like to fantasize about that or um, or let it get worked up in my head. If I really, really wanted something, I would have it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, Valley S said, what is your favorite time of year and why? Used to be spring, now it's fall. I'm really excited fall's coming up. I like uh, the cooler breeze, I like the fall colors. I like wearing sweaters now. So I'm really looking forward to fall. Uh, Kimberly Ennis says, have you found since your operation that your social needs have changed? Example, friends, or did you find that, or did you find this out during, before your operation date? Um, I want to be more social now. I feel like I'm craving it. So that's something that I want to continue to work towards and go out with friends more and just be out in this town more. Um, before my recovery journey, surgery, whatever, um, I was completely isolated and had no interest in going out around people because I was embarrassed with how I looked. So um, I definitely feel like things have changed and uh, will continue to change. Uh, let's see. So Caroline K says, okay, you didn't say how many uh, questions, so here are some. You can pick the ones you would like to answer. She does have a lot, so I will do my best to answer these, and then I will probably cut it off there. What was your favorite subject at school? So I loved choir and um, theater. If you could have a full scholarship to any university, what would you choose to study? I think I would... Um, probably do a master's in psychology and um, eventually be a psychologist to maybe counsel people or help people. Uh, let's see. Do you wear socks to bed? I do not. I don't like to wear socks unless I have shoes on. Uh, what is the worst injury you've ever had? I don't know. I don't I think I've really had so many injuries as more medical problems. So, um, but probably if I were to choose medical problems, it was the problems that I went through in fall, winter of 2012. Uh, have you ever been in a car accident? I've been in many car accidents, unfortunately. Not all my faults. Uh, best compliment you've ever received? I uh, was talking to a guy from the uh, dating website and uh, I don't like to have a whole lot of buildup when getting ready to meet these guys because then there's a lot of potential for letdown so I generally will maybe talk on the phone with someone once and then ultimately meet them and see is there con a connection or not and with this guy I hadn't ever intended on dating him I didn't feel like we were each other's types but we just kind of chit chatted every night just through the computer and um, just kind of were buddies and, and talking about our profiles, talking about um, our dates and just just talking. And uh, so I felt pretty comfortable with him and I also felt like there wasn't an intention to date him. So that kind of took the pressure off for me. And so one night, uh, we were talking and I said, you know, it's just too much to text out. And he says, well, why don't I just call you? And so we talked on the phone and I'm, I'm just a talker. And 
talking like I'm talking to you guys now and he says, whoa, 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 can we have a time out? You are not what I expected at all. <clears throat> and I'm like, what did you expect? I don't know, it was a silly statement. But in, in the end of the conversation, you know, he again reiterated that and he said, you're witty, you're clever, you're charming. I just can't even believe it. And I, I was a little bit like kind of taken with that too. Um, but it helped me to realize like I can hold my own, um, with, with someone and, um, uh, that felt good. That's the most recent one. So I don't know if that's the best ever, but that's what came to my mind. Uh, have you ever been pulled over by a cop? I have. I think I've had two, two speeding tickets in my 20s. Have any of your relatives been to jail or are in jail? <laughs> I don't know why it matters if my relatives are. I haven't been. Um, yeah, I've got a cousin that has. Uh, what was your last picture you took on your phone? Please show us. Uh, where is my phone? Oh, it's in my bedroom. All right, hold that thought. So uh, last picture I took on my phone it would come up is of the sunscreen I use because I was talking to someone about sunscreen and uh, he is a ginger and burns and doesn't like to wear sunscreen I'm like you are a crazy person anyway uh, let's see if you have a bedside table what is on it um, lamp CPAP machine Kleenex I have a eye mask that I use when I want to block out any light. Phone charger. Uh, dogs or cats or neither. I have neither right now. I'm never home, so I just, uh, I don't think it'd be fair to a pet. Have you ever been mentioned in a newspaper? So uh, when I was a little kid, uh, I wrote to Santa and wanted my name changed. And my mom had it put in the paper. So I wanted my name to be Elizabeth. Um, best dish you can cook. Um, I can cook most things, so I don't know what the best is, but uh, most recently I made chili, if that helps. Um, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Can you show us your favorite pair? I'm not really gonna show you my favorite pair because I don't want, want to walk back to my bedroom, but um, I'm not a big shoe person and that stems from having very large feet and um, many years of having even bigger feet. So as I've lost weight, I've actually lost weight in my feet. Ironic, but it's true. So I'm just now finding sandals that are cute that I can wear that are comfortable. comfortable. Um, because before it was literally like tennis shoes and flip flops. So. Uh, do you think the past matters in a relationship? I think the past helps make us who we are. So I think sometimes the past can affect us in a good way. Uh, can you curl your tongue? I think I can do that. I don't know. That's all I can do. <laughs> what makes you nostalgic? Um, I don't know, just thinking about um, myself as a kid and um, the hurts that I went through. And I mean, I, I don't know if nostalgic is supposed to be a positive thing. I, when I think of nostalgic, I think of just thinking back to something. So, um, and I'm so, it makes me thankful for where I am now. Last question, what question do you hate to answer? Probably the, are you dating yet? Are you seeing anyone? What's going on with that? You know, it's been fun the last month or two um, dating and, and having fun with that. So I've been talking about that to people and to you guys. Um, but before that, when people would ask, you know, are you are you seeing anybody? It felt a little bit like, what's the holdup, you know? Um, and I'm just a private person. So I think I'm afraid to say yes I'm seeing this person because I don't know if they're going to be there next week and it really takes a lot from a relationship for me to feel that security and again because I spent so much time in a relationship that wasn't really secure and uh, so it's made me very leery for the new next relationship so it is what it is. 
So I'm going to leave it at that, and I hope this wasn't too rambly, and we will do part two tomorrow. Okay.